ladies, gentlemen, gamers, the Twitch drama does not fucking stop and we're here to cover it because I like making reactions and hopefully this gets views because I need views. Anyway, regardless, we are here to talk about Slicker. I didn't know a lot about him. I heard some buzz around and apparently Asmongold hates this guy and from what I've heard for good fucking reason, apparently this guy steals money. He asks for money from different people and different viewers somehow. He takes it and he gambles with it and he loses it. And somehow he's still allowed on Twitch, but we're, we're gonna read into it. I actually don't know a lot about this. So there's not much I could say beforehand. There's probably a lot I'm going to say while looking at it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Train Mercs, I would message him. I'd be like, bro, I'm in a situation. He would even- So he'd lie. He gave me like $150,000. Holy shit. No, sorry, not 150, $100,000. And I'm- Imagine that. Imagine you ask your friend I mean, to them, money's, like, probably nothing anymore, which is, like, how I think friends should help each other. I mean, you know, I don't think this should be a standard, but I think it's the morally right thing to do. I think if someone needs help and you are very much able and capable of helping them in the right way, I think giving money straight out is not the right way. Unless, like, you know, they lie and you think it's the right way, then there's no fault on them. But, um... Yeah, like, wow, that's just insane how you ask your friend for money, he just drops 100k on you. Like, what the fuck? You can charge me extra. Um, some of the money... You I can charge me extra? Streamers, um, and it will just keep getting what? worse ever since after train wrecks. He, he, this is why he blocked me. No wonder he blocked you. He should be taking fucking civil action against your fucking dumb bald ass. What the hell? I bet he blocked you. Ever since. Yeah, bro, he, I'm surprised he didn't fucking send a hit out on him. If someone takes 150k from me, lies about why he needs it, and then blows it and goes into debt, holy shit, would I be beyond angry? Like, what the flying fuck? Oh my god. So apparently this is one of his quote-unquote victims that, uh, you know, he scammed, he got money out of, and apparently they're a cancer patient. That is so, like, okay. It's one thing to take it from a friend, even though I think this is already wrong. It's already wrong he's taking it from train wrecks under lying pretenses, right? But train wrecks, at the end of the day, from what I hear, he has a lot of money, right? That 150k, obviously it hurts, but he's not going to be on the side of the street begging for a cup of ramen. He's, he's just not. But you took it from a cancer patient? I honestly think Slicker has, like, mental disorders. And train wrecks gave him the bailout. That's so sad. It this guy needs to be, like, it's people like this that get away with it. Like, oh my god, the money was to pay his debt? Oh my lord, what? But past a certain point, it's like, there's no point to get angry because it's illogical what they're doing, and you know they're gonna do it. It's like giving drugs to a drug addict and not expecting them to use it. It's like, what? Man, like, you were my friend, bro. And before I was going for my... I wonder if she's on the call with him. My transplant, knowing you're not going to pay me. You're asking for my money that I put together to save my life. Oh, and this is so sad. You had no intention, even though I've already given you money. You never paid that back, and then you ask for another 10k. Jesus before Christ. Before I'm meant to be going to America to pay for this stuff, man. I just want to know... Why? I know addiction... It's difficult, but were you actually my friend? Ever? Yeah, oh my god. Like, at this point, it's so sad because she knows she's not even going to get the money back. She just wants to know, was he using her just for the money? Like, bro, this is so sad. Oh my god. Bro, if I was a famous, like, popular streamer, and, like, people came to me like this, I'd, I'd probably do a little Nas X I'd just give them some money because, like, what is money to me anymore, right? Money, it's so sad because like I just said before, money doesn't really improve the issues of people, but it definitely does fucking help in some situations, I'll tell you that. It's a situation by situation basis, and I definitely think a cancer patient can be helped by the money, <laughs> especially if she needs it for like, you know, medical treatment. Bro, this is ridiculous. This guy should be jailed. I just, like, I knew you before all of this. Oh, that's so sad. So he knew her. I honestly think like, Maybe addiction ruined him because if he, if she knew him before this, 
I don't think he had this long con to get money out of a cancer patient. If he honestly did it for that, yo, man, I'm not a fan for the death penalty, but I'm a fan for locking him up and throwing away the key forever. Get him in a room with nothing else in it. Like, if he did it like that. I don't think he did it like that, though. I don't think Slicker is that evil. I don't. I think very little people are that evil. I think this guy is just sick and has a gambling problem. This is so fucking sad, bro. I just want to know. I'm sorry, I don't mean to get emotional. And I know you're going through your own shit. But... No, mine doesn't matter. I'm sorry. Okay, like, he's a... Po See, oh my god. I don't even know if the apology is genuine, but it's just so sad, bro. The fact that this guy... The fact that this guy is, like, still allowed on Twitch after actively scamming people and admitting it, it's just sad. Oh my god, yeah, it's literally like Uncut Gems IRL. Oh my god. It's ridiculous. Like, even if he was right, it's still a fucked up thing to do. Even if he paid back all the money he borrowed by winning the gambling bets, it is still 100% fucked up and he is in the wrong. Like, I, you do not do this. You just do not do this. This is sad. This is sad that this guy is, like, allowed on the platform. Meanwhile, I saw a post where it's like, oh, they said, you know, this guy's still allowed even after admitting to scamming and stealing money from people. Something which is, like, ridiculous. But Jideon is still banned for, like, you know, sending, like, a little hate stream or a hate mob to Pokimane. Like, bro, the thing that happened with Pokimane, I'll just touch on it real quick, it was bad. But comparably to this, how much more negative came out from which one? This one, guaranteed, had way more negative than Jideon going to, like, send his fans to hate mob Pokey for a stream. And, like, Jideon is banned, but this guy isn't. I don't know what Twitch is thinking, bro. Twitch is dying, though. Oh, my lord. It really feels like it.